Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to tell you everything about Anchor FM. This is a great app that you can use for free in order to create your podcast. So check out my podcast, it's called Girl with the Camera. And I've created it using Anchor, but more importantly I use it for distribution. So even though I'm a professional videographer and video editor, I can film and edit my podcast but I cannot distribute it across all the platforms however for anybody who wants to start a podcast even if you're a company or even if you're representing yourself and you want to just tell the story or you want to talk about your business or motivate or inspire people or help or educate them you need to create your own podcast and you can do it using Anchor FM and distribute it to everybody to hear and listen for the the whole world. I will take you through start to finish, okay, how to create your first podcast trailer and episode and how to get it off the ground. So if you have any questions at any point, you can email me, just check the description of the video, you can get in touch with me and don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as follow my podcast, Girl with the Camera. First of all, visit anchor.fm and let's get started. Click on the get started button and fill out your name, full name. And by the way, remember that this name will create a URL. So if you're setting up for business, do the business name, the full business name. This is gonna be part of your URL. So I'm gonna do the email, password, date of birth, of course. And yes, it's 1991 and I'm not a robot and I don't want news, thank you, or maybe you you do want to get latest updates. So in that case, of course, take that box. Um, as you saw just now, you can also import your podcast if you already have it. So what you need to do now, before you can publish, you have to verify your email address. So of course, log into your email and there you will find email from Anchor FM and when you click on the link so now you log in with your email and password that you set up and email verified continue to dashboard so now let's get started okay what you ha what you can do is make your first episode or trailer to get your podcast out there this is good to shorten review process between the first episode. Um, and then you can set up your podcast. So name, cover, description, and all of that, which you can change later. And then you can set up monetization and of course get listeners. So let's go to the podcast setup to get you started with the name and the description of the podcast. Before we can distribute your podcast um, to additional listening platforms, you need to fill those a uh, couple of things. So, podcast name. What is your podcast name, okay? Description, obviously. So, my podcast for this demonstration, I'm not going to publish it. <laughs> Choose a category. You've got plenty of options in terms of categories. So, this will help people to discover your podcast. So, obviously, if they want to if they want to enter entertain themselves, they will search for comedy, stand-up comedy, entertainment, and so on. So just look at what your podcast is about and choose one category. And yes, you can only choose one single category. So you have to be decisive, okay? Podcast language, of course, um, it depends on you, but English. Okay, so continue. Choose your cover art. So here's the fun part. I would suggest to create your cover art, um, pay for a designer or create it yourself. But also you can use something from Anchor as well, which is automatically created. So it's kind of like a lot of different designs that you can choose from and, you know, whichever you like. You can also search in the search bar for some ideas and photos that you can use um, completely free, as you can see. So once you find the one and you're happy with it, you can then decide whether you want to put the text on it. So I would definitely advise to put the text, um, the title of your podcast on it. And you can, you can find nice font 
um, for the podcast as well as um, you can show Anchor logo on cover art or not. And I choose not to, to be honest. Um, and then you can align the text. So top, center, bottom, left, middle, right. And then you can decide if you want to change the color. Um, but I like this white, so I'm going to stick with that. And I'm going to update cover art, of course. And voila. So everything has to be approved. Okay, so we have to publish something to go through the review process. So you're not live yet. Um, so it's set up, but you're not live. So obviously there's no cover art. Um, and you've got everything set up. Everything is ready, but it's not published yet. And you can always change the art um, download. You can decide whether the content is clean or explicit, of course. Um, and you can change all those things um, about you, email, website. So it allows you, this is really good for SEO. So it allows you to input your own website link. Of course, as you can see, I cannot change the URL of anchor.fm, my name. And don't forget to input all social media and don't delete the account. <laughs> And then you're ready to save the details. So now let's go back to dashboard. And let's see the public site. And as I just said, the podcast is not yet available because you didn't publish anything. So the link that is going to be uh, full of your episodes in the future is not working yet because you don't have anything. So let's create something. So let's create an episode and you can upload existing episode, existing MP3 file, or you can create an episode yourself and you can record like a short trailer right away. And by the way, this is how it looks like on the phone as well. So we've got record button, which allows us to record anything from the browser. So I'm going to allow to input my microphone. And by default, because I don't have any microphone plugged in, it goes to my microphone on Mac. But definitely I would recommend to use any kind of USB microphone. You can get them for 30 pounds. Um, I can put some links um, in, the, in the description of the video just to step it up a little bit, you know. So I use um, this USB PNP audio device, um, USB mic. And when you press start recording, you are recording so you can start talking you can create your trailer you know and say how often you're going to publish what your podcast is about and you can edit it in anchor so you don't have to like if you want to say something again just feel free to do it and repeat it so no worries there um, so and once you're done you can stop recording and this file is going to be uploaded and then processed and then ready for you to edit okay so we can change the name of it of course it always carries the date and the time of recording and now it's processing so it's going to be ready soon if the file is a longer and the recording is longer it will take a little bit more time to process but just be patient and don't close your browser so um, the next thing is the library. So as you can see, everything that I record goes immediately to my library. So it's never lost. And there is also option for music. I can use music from Spotify, but it will be only available on Spotify. So it's a little bit tricky and I don't personally use this feature at all. In terms of messages, so people can send you messages um, and it's very easy. But the problem is that they will have to register with Anchor. So it's good if they have already account. And this is, by the way, how your page is going to look like. So with your URL, with the, all the episodes will be displayed. You can see my podcast. It's called Girl with a Camera. All the episodes are there. The latest one is on top and you can share the URL. You can embed it on your website, share to social media, do anything with it. And of course, listen on Spotify, all the other platforms that I'm on. And then you can see the message button. So you can record and anybody can record the message for you. So you can use it in the episode. But as I said, a tricky part is that you do have to be registered with Anchor. So people have to have 
an account, which is, you know, it's a bit tricky. So personally, I don't have many messages from people because usually they don't have a reason to have an Anchor account. But anyway, you can try if that works for you. Okay, and the last option is transition. It's kind of like loops. It's kind of like on the radio, like a jingle that you can use before on or in between segments of your episode. So personally, I think it's a little bit cheesy, but for comedy or, you know, easily listening podcasts, it would work. So let's go back to our trailer. And now when I'm done creating, I can click on three dots and I can actually download the audio file or delete it. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add to episode. So this is my episode builder on the right and I can build the hierarchy of my episode. And I'm going to click on three dots from here and I can edit audio. And it takes me to a desktop editor. Okay, so this is great. Like I can literally decide where I want to make a cut. So I'm going to put my playhead there. Then I hit split and I decide that this part on the left is going to go to the bin and I can cut out something in the middle. So if there is a word or there's like a, uh, I can just get rid of it and I can go through my recording like this on and on and on throughout the whole episode that I've recorded. And I can also zoom in to get rid of the short parts. Okay. So now for this trailer, I'm ready. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this as it is. So I've got two parts right now, three parts, I think that I want to cut out. And I always save it as one new segment because I want to get rid of all those parts um, that I deleted and I put into the bin. And as you can see, you always have the original version. So it's not going anywhere. You always have it. And then with the edited one, it's just going to process and create a new file. So this is this is amazing, to be honest. This is really good. It's going to help you. Okay, so now, as you can see in my episode, kind of like a puzzle episode maker on the right, I have trailer edited. And as you can see, the sh- it's shorter because I got rid of those uh, parts that I didn't want. And I can go again and change this file again so if there's something that i want to edit again i can just go easily into it so just to demonstrate i can demonstrate i can use any kind of transition okay so let's say i want to use kind of like a jingle or introduction so if i like it i'm gonna hit plus and i'm gonna add this to the episode and i'm gonna drag it on top of it and that means that this will start my episode will or trailer will start with this jingle and then the actual trailer will continue. If you click on that note, obviously you can add background music. So you can choose all these songs, nice background songs are free of charge. They are included in Anchor. You can set, you can preview, you can set the volume as well. And then if you like it, you can apply this to your trailer and what it does this is really great what it does is before you talk it will play a song full volume for a couple of seconds like five seconds or three or five and then you start talking and the music goes automatically low but still we can hear it in the background and then when you stop talking it goes up again and you can always remove the background if you don't like it so don't worry but this feature is fully automatic, so we don't have to do any editing on volume levels. Um, and you can't do it in Anchor anyway. So anything you don't want to get rid of it, delete it. You can see the total length of the episode. You can still preview it. And you can also add if you have any messages to that as well. And then you can always go back and record another segment of the episode that you can just put in right under the main file so let's save the episode once we're happy with it and obviously we're gonna fill in the title and the description of the episode the description of the episode whatever that is publish date so do i want to publish now do i want to publish in next month in three months in four months 
so we can set up exact time and exact month of publishing um, and this is handy if you want to schedule your podcast so it goes through that review process which like for the first time takes up to 14 days um, you can decide on season number episode number this is a trailer so we're just going to do the trailer and obviously is it clean or is it explicit again um, if your content is blocked from everybody under 18. Uh, new features include polls and q a so if you want to add the poll to your episode you're free to do that ask a question polls are really um you know popular on youtube and instagram and so on i don't think so much for the podcast yet so it's kind of like it's good to have it but i don't think that people are used to um, use it that much okay let's go and hit on next are you ready to publish this will make your podcast available or anchor and spotify you can distribute your podcast to more platforms in the next step so let's roll let's publish boom you're almost live your podcast will be live available on spotify shortly we'll let you know as soon as it's ready so if you go to podcast availability you can check where your podcast is available so you see the link on spotify anchor as well for rss distribution you have to enable this if you want to put your podcast on different platforms as well so you would definitely enable this um, so have you, you have a special link with the RSS feed, which makes sure every time you publish an episode in Anchor, it goes everywhere. Okay, Google Podcasts, um, um, Apple Podcasts, so everywhere. Um, and there are a couple of things that will be confusing in this step. So, and also I want to say you can always redirect your podcast if you have it um, from somewhere else. Uh, if you input your RSS, uh, RSS feed, but I want to say there's something co confusing about this. You don't have to input manually Apple, Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Radio Public or Spotify. They will be distributed automatically right there. It just doesn't say that. But I would suggest for closer analytics on Google and Apple, I would suggest to to input the, those links manually and connect it but you don't have to worry about all these platforms are connected automatically except for stitcher breaker and soundcloud in terms of monetization if you click money so set up your subscriptions you can actually earn some money uh, from it if you have some episodes but i will think about it maybe later when you actually build your community and you actually someone listens to your podcast <laughs> but let's say you have a new episode already recorded you just want to distribute it so you click on new episode and then you can upload your files as mp3 so you can upload the whole episode or the trailer that you record in edited maybe in audition or audacity and so on and you can upload this file and literally use anchor platform as a distribution platform we, because it's free and um, usually you have to pay for rss feed so when you're happy with it of course then all you do is literally you can also edit it download remove of course as usual you can add background music but if you're happy and this will also appear in your library so it's right there everything is there so save episode if you're happy with it and continue so the same deal title description everything that we talked about thank you for watching this video and i hope that you can create your podcast now and get it off the ground as soon as you can and yeah i'll be definitely subscribing to your podcast if you let me know the my email address nicole at nicole .com. and you can email me with any questions you can email me your podcasts and you can also check out my other videos about podcasting as well as this great guide for creating a podcast. The link is in the description and I'm going to make a video on podcasting from start to finish in terms of pre-production, production, post-production post and marketing. So if this video is already edited, then you can see it now right here or here or both ways. Okay, and you can click on it and continue um, to learn so I share a lot of strategies of 
getting your podcast off the ground. So, and don't forget to subscribe to my podcast, Girl with the Camera, and to this channel, because I've got more things to come.